Piccolo's regenerative abilities are actually a really incredible help in the series for him. However, I'm starting to think that they're being used a little too much. Hey guys, it's Alexis here, and welcome to a new Dragon Ball discussion. Today I'm going to be talking about Piccolo's regenerative ability, and why it's been used a little too much. It seems in Dragon Ball Super, and later parts of the Dragon Ball series, whenever Piccolo has a somewhat intense fight, he always seems to instantly lose an arm. And I personally think it's gone to a point where it's a little comical, and people are really starting to pick up on it. As an ability, his regeneration's a really cool thing to show off, and I understand why the writers do it, because Piccolo's a Namekian, and it's cool to show off those unique traits to his character. And I personally like that. However, they really seem to be milking the ability when, especially in Super, where, like, I understand Gohan acts... During Super, I understand maybe Piccolo losing an arm every now and again to show how strong his opponents are. However, I think when he was fighting Gohan, I think that was pretty cool the way Gohan used his full power and when he was training with Piccolo and, you know, took his arm off. That was pretty cool, but Piccolo, but Piccolo was pretty smart and used it to his advantage. And that was a really unique way to show how Piccolo has grown as a fighter, even though he knows his weaknesses. And that was really cool. I like that. However, like in the Resurrection F saga, I believe Piccolo lost an arm there as well, which, yeah, he did. I remember it. And then during the Tournament of Power, I think he lost an arm several times. And it, I just personally think it kind of, after a while, demeans Piccolo a little bit because Piccolo is a really strong fire and he's personally one of my favourite characters in the series. But I personally find it annoying because it makes Piccolo look pretty weak and it makes it look like his arms are made out of like paper or something. And a lot of people are joking about it. And I personally just think that they really need to tone down Piccolo losing his arm so they could kind of make it a more bigger deal when it does happen. It's not a problem that it does happen, it's just a case of, if it happens every five minutes, it's not exactly a special thing. And I know it's a way to show off Piccolo's regeneration, but people know by now that he can do that, so... The only thing it's really doing is making Piccolo look a little silly sometimes, or really weak, actually. Or that Piccolo lets his guard down, when you could see by his character that's not the case. He's one of the most tactically, you know, impressive characters, where... He always has a plan when he's fighting. Even if he's weaker than his opponent, Piccolo seems to always find a way to bounce back and that's something we all really love about him. But yeah, it's a little quick video, but do you guys um like the way Piccolo keeps losing his arms or do you feel the same way I do where you probably like him to do it a little less and probably not completely stop it altogether, but just use it sparingly and make it effective when it does happen. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the bell and subscribe to make sure you get notifications from whenever I upload a video. I have a Twitter, you can follow me down below in the description, there's a link. And I also have my Patreon there if you want to see more videos from me. But anyway, I'm Alexis and I hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you soon guys. Bye!